we see a whole host of interesting and strange discoveries with each passing day. As science constantly advances and researchers continue to draw closer to the answers they may be looking for, our world becomes a little more peculiar and a little more fascinating as we begin to understand more about it. From the busiest cities to the most remote continents, there is an abundance of research opportunities. Sometimes the most scientifically active places are the ones you may least expect. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting discoveries from tucked away locations. Sharks Discovered Inside Underwater Volcano In 2015, the strange circumstances of a group of sharks thriving within an underwater volcano went viral online. Researching the most active volcano on Earth, scientists were shocked to find a group of sharks living in the inhospitable depths. Due to the deadly conditions, specialized tech equipment with cameras were sent down to gather information on the sweltering sharks. National Geographic explorer and ocean engineer Brennan Phillips expressed this is a remarkable nature of discovery. He stated, There are a number of reasons why there shouldn't be anything living in there except maybe bacteria. Number one, it's very hot and acidic. And number two, it's very turbid. So the water is very cloudy. None of these things are good for fish. Whether they're good for sharks, that's up for debate. Yet we saw sharks that in between eruptions are darting in and out between the clouds of the plume. So that's a lingering question mark. Did great white sharks drive Megalodon to extinction? If you're a fan of ancient or even mythological creatures, you've probably heard the name Megalodon thrown around here and there. To those who do not know, Megalodon is the name of an extinct shark species that lived on Earth somewhere between 23 to 6 million years ago. The Megalodon is renowned for its massive size. Believe it or not, the Otodus Megalodon is believed to have reached lengths of up to 50 feet long. Although the Megalodon wasn't the only giant shark to swim in the Earth's early oceans, it was by far the largest we have discovered. Josh Davis, writing for the Natural History Museum in London, UK, states, Megalodon's jaws could open wide enough to swallow two adults standing side by side. The reason we are aware of the Megalodon's amazing size is because of the comprehensive fossil record. According to fossil evidence, the Megalodon was an apex predator millions of years in the past, with most science believing that the monster went extinct roughly 2.6 million years ago. However, a new study has a different idea on the murky monster's mysterious demise. In a paper published, scientists propose that the extinction date could extend another million years than originally thought. After examining the same data that had been used to date the extinction date originally, the researchers noticed faults in the findings. For instance, the fossils had imprecise dates, older dating methods, or had simply just been misidentified. Robert Bosenecker, a paleontologist at the College of Charleston in South Carolina, worked on the new study. He stated, After making extensive adjustments to this worldwide sample and statistically reanalyzing the data, we found that the extinction of the Megalodon must have happened at least one million years earlier than previously determined. Surprisingly, the decline of the Megalodon seems to happen at the exact same time the great white shark species began to thrive. According to a write-up in National Geographic, scientists had believed that the Megalodon's extinction was associated with some sort of extinction event at the end of the Pliocene period, one example being a supernova that flung hazardous radioactive material across the planet. However, this new research shows that there were no significant changes or changes that were widespread enough to leave an impact on the Megalodon population. That is, except for the rise of the great white shark in Earth's waters. Great whites, while not as big as Megalodon, are an apex predator in today's marine environment. Despite their smaller size, great whites may have been able to tackle younger Megalodons or those in adolescence. Scientists also believe that other changes to the planet's oceans could have given the great white the slight advantage over the Megalodon species, causing the species to eventually fade out. Megalodons primarily ate small whales, but ever-decreasing populations meant fewer sources of food. 
Regardless of what truly happened, it's an amazing fact that great white sharks have managed to survive from the decline of the megalodon until the modern day. New species of whale identified in the Gulf of Mexico 2019 saw the startling discovery of a new species of whale, specifically a newly found baleen whale species within the Gulf of Mexico. Despite its ever so recent discovery, this creature has already made the endangered list. Dubbed Rice's whale, this animal can reach a staggering 42 feet in length, residing in the Gulf for the entire duration of the year. Consistently with the other baleen whale species, Rice's whales can weigh 60,000 pounds, that is 30 tons, and have three lateral ridges upon the jaw. Up until recently, Rice's whale had been grouped alongside Bride's whale. Though, new studies have found crucial morphological differences between the skulls of these two whale species, as well as the genetic makeup being noticeably incongruent. So soon after their discovery, Rice's whales have been added to the United States Endangered Species Act as well as the Marine Mammal Protection Act, aiming to preserve the lives of the few Rice's whales remaining. Current estimates suggest there are less than 100 of these mammals in the wild. According to the National Oceanic and Atmosphere Administration, Rice's whales are most vulnerable and most likely to endure more harm through vessel strikes, ocean noise, energy exploration, development and production, oil spills and responses, entanglements in fishing gear and ocean debris. The near extinction of so many majestic, beautiful animals and wildlife is one of the 21st century's worst ongoing issues, and it's a battle we must continue to solve. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.